Hi everyone, and welcome back to another video. Hope everyone is staying safe and well. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a Active Directory Sync with Cisco Secure Access, also known as Duo. In today's Zero Trust world and SASE world, you definitely need a MFA. So what would be a better NFA than Cisco Duo? So first, let's go over and verify that we're still using our Windows Server 2022, right? Uh, as our AD. Right next, let's go to uh, log to Duo, right? On the left, go to User, click on Directory Sync. Okay, and let me just start from scratch. Okay, let's delete the directory first. Okay, so when you go to directory sync, right, you will see that, um, oops, I might have deleted the wrong directory. It's okay, it's a lab environment. We'll just uh, reconfigure. So when you first come into Duo, you will not see any of the directory. What you need to do is go to active directory tab. Remember, this is uh, for syncing of the uh, Active Directory on Primus. We'll show other videos on Azure Active Directory in another video or another time. So let's click on Add New Active Directory Sync. Right over here, um, you can actually or you will test for the connection as you set it up. So what we're going to do is click on Authentication Proxy section. It will bring you to the Authentication Proxy. Uh, configuration part, right? You can always download a pre-configured file so that you don't, so that you auto-populate the integration key, the secret key, and the API host name. Uh, for this demo, I'm going to show you uh, how what's the instruction to configure that, right? So if you right-click on this, it will bring you to this uh, documentation uh, on how to uh, on explaining what is uh, authentication proxy and how to do the installation, right? So what you want to do is to download the latest dual authentication proxy. I believe it's version 5.4 as of this video. So click on it, right? It will actually download the dual of proxy 5.4.0, which is what we're going to use for this video. Right, once that is done, go to the download folder, right? Right click on the exe file. I'll always like to run it as an administrator. Once that is done, click Next. It will prompt you to open the authentication proxy configuration file. Right? We'll leave it at this. When you click Finish, you'll launch the configuration file. There are a few things to take note over here. Um, for configuration of the directory sync, you actually just need to, uh, to configure two sections, right? the AD client, as well as adding on a section called Cloud. Okay. You can command off or delete off the Radius Server Authentication for now. Uh, we'll command it off as I'll show you um, how to configure the proxy as a Radius Server for uh, Meraki VPN integration. Okay, so let's hop over to the documentation you will see below. Uh, um, I think this is pretty new from the last video that I had. You will see a configuration section called Cloud, right? And it will tell you what are the configuration parameters needed. You need the I integration key, the secret key, API host, as well as the service account, username, and password, right? There's a way that you can encrypt the password so that it's not in clear in the text. Uh, for this video, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to just go with the um, basic setup, right? In production environment, always good to encrypt your um, password and not have it in plain text. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to just copy this and change it later. Just copy over, right? Paste it into the configuration file. Now, where do you get your integration key, secret key, and API host? Right? If you hop over to your dashboard, you'll see the integration key and the secret key and the API host. So copy all these keys over and paste it into the uh, Word document. So I'm going to show you an example. I come over to the integration key. I'll paste it in here 
and that's done, right? And of course, uh, enter the respective username and password for the cloud integration. Now, for the host integration, you need to key in the IP address or the host name of the uh, Active Directory server. In our case, it's dot thirty four, right? Uh, use a service account username. Uh, for simplicity sake, not recommended. I'm going to use the administrator account. I'll key in the password later. And then the base DN, right? So the domain name uh, or distinguished name of the uh, domain, right? So for our case, if you watch my previous video, it's actually DC equals to IN, comma, DC equal to Draco, Sassy, comma, DC is equal to com, right? So that is my uh, domain name. Once that is done, uh, save the configuration, right? And then we can proceed to the next part, which is testing the uh, configuration. Okay, I've finished entering the password. What I'm going to do now is to go to the command prompt, go to the folder where Duo is installed. It's usually under Duo Security Authentication Proxy in Program Files, right? Uh, go to go to bin. Okay, this is where all your utilities are, right? So if I do a dir.x3.exe, you'll see all the various uh, utilities and tools that you can use um, over here. And if you are doing any API integration, um, this is where all the .exe files are available for you to do. Um, checks as well right so what we're gonna do is to do a connectivity check right so what this tool does is to check your configuration right so it'll tell you that um, the configuration is okay uh, the uh, connectivity seems to be fine the cloud connectivity seems to be okay so there's no issue authenticated so that's good news for us so you can either issue a um, you know net start command here for to start the dual services, or you can go to services and look for dual security authentication proxy service. Right by default, it is not started. So what you do is start this. Okay, you can see that it's running now. Now head back to your dual portal, click on test connection. You'll see that the authentication proxy connection has been established, right? The next step that you need to do is go to directory configuration. Over here, you want to key in your host name or your AD, right? We're using clear text for this tutorial. So we're going to key in 389 for clear text. Uh, I'll do a video to show you how to configure start TLS, which is a little bit more complex because we need to have certificate, certificate involved, right? Uh, and if you don't have uh, enterprise CA, uh, you can either use a self signed cert, which is usually not secure, not recommended, or you can use a commercial cert. We'll do that in uh, another video on how do you work with certificates, right? It's actually quite useful to learn the basic over there. Authentication type, we're going to keep it as integrated, right? And then transport type is clear. So once that is done, Let's head back to the uh, test connection and click test connection again. Okay, it's still saying that there is some issue. Okay, let's check out the configuration. Okay, save directory. Let's save it first. And then let's test it out again. Okay. Oh, okay. So great. Once you save and you test, you get the error. You need to configure your base DN here, right? So DC equals to IN, comma DC equals to Draco Sassy comma dc is equal to com right save directory and you can see that the connection or the status is now connected right so you'll see that currently there's no group selected right by default uh once the connection is established you need to select the group to sync now if you remember we created a group called draco sassy test duo we're going to select that group Right, save the directory and then do a manual directory sync now. So what you see here is that I've seen one user and one group. Right, if you remember my previous tutorial, we have created a test group for this demo. Right, so let's go to users. Okay, 
if you remember, we actually created a user called DS001, right? So you can see that DS001 is being synchronized with the username Draco Sassy001, right? So let's go back and do a quick verification. Sorry, on the users directory sync and okay, let's rename this to AD. Okay, save. Okay, so that's all there is that you need to configure the uh, authentication proxy to do the synchronization for um, with uh, Windows Server 2022 Active Directory Sync, right? Uh, that's all for this video. I will show you in the next video on how do you configure and integrate uh, Duo with all for the purpose of uh, Microsoft RDP, right, to a server. Thank you. Stay safe and stay tuned for my next video.